Hello my dear family members, many of you have asked me can you share real questions of Capgemini, real coding questions of Capgemini, what is the cutoff and can I use Python or can I use C++ in the compiler. So all of these answers, all of these questions answers will be provided in this video. So please watch this video till the end so that you don't miss anything. Also I'll share the very affordable resources with you so just to wait and watch till the end. Just before that guys please do subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want. Especially watch the playlist of Capgemini, this will be very much helpful for you because there we have already uploaded several videos regarding communication assessment regarding expert assessment regarding the pseudo code essay writing everything we have there so please follow that it will be very much helpful for you the link is given in the description box let me just share the coding questions they have asked recently but uh, you have to know that you are allowed to write code in python java or any other language okay most probably c plus plus c all are included there so don't worry about that okay so this is the question they have asked recently that means if you are watching this video on 2025 then this is the recent question asked in 2025 only okay so let me just uh, read the questions then we'll solve that as well so actually i could not get the full question but the gist of the questions i will share with you so the question is actually you have some conditions uh, given there right the condition is in a string in a string you have some letters right combination of letters and you have to make sure that if any character is if it is not repeating at least twice then you have to count to one okay that means you have to increase the count one now if any character not repeating then increase the count if it is repeating then it is fine then you don't have to increase the count just ignore that if it is like uh, not repeating just increase the count let me just share the sample input so that it will be easier to understand okay that means let's say this is the sample input a b a b c d e d c a now you can see the number of occurrence of a is more than two okay more than one okay and number of occurrence of b is more than one number of occurrence of c also more than one d more than one e also more than one so if any of the character occurring more than one times then it means they are not violating the rules okay that's why the output is zero we have not increased the count okay so the rule is the condition is uh, all the string all the string characters should be at least uh, occur more than one time so that's why they are not violating the rules but if let's say this is the string then what will be the output that is a is not occurring more than one time so we have increased the count one b is not occurring more than one even all the characters are not repeating and they are uniquely present so we have to increase the count for all the characters okay a b c d e f so for them we have increased the count one 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 this way so three three six will be the output that means total six characters are there which are not repeating which are unique okay so that's the thing you have to know so this is the like uh, question this is the gist i hope you answered what's the task so let me just share the second sample input that is you can see facetious okay facetious so this is the sample input and you can see there is no character present which occurred more than one time so one two three four five six seven eight nine nine characters are uniquely present so that's why nine is the output okay so i hope you understood fully if you understood then please start solving the problem by yourself and then give the answer in the comment section i'll give a heart to you and if you want me to solve the problem then please watch this video till the end okay now let me share the problem uh, answer in python at first so what we will do that is we can use the map okay map interface and we'll store the characters occurrence so each character's occurrence if i just count then if i just uh, check if this character has occurred more than one time or not if occurred then increase the count if not occurred then okay okay so this way we'll keep increasing the count so just let me share the solutions guides it will it will be 
helpful for you to understand okay but before that guys i want you to have the prime materials of capgemini in which you will get all the recent questions with answers all the previous year questions all the things you need to prepare for capgemini from the essay writing to it fundamentals pseudo code coding questions and mock test game based aptitude interview preparations and may so on one thing very important for you that is if you are solving at least one code and if you are expecting 7.5 lpa it is also possible if you give good interviews so also those are included how to answer what to answer and what are the common questions all things are included in capgemini prime materials so the link is given in the description box please go through that it will be very much helpful you can see the feedback of students give provided below so go through that and if you want to get all the on-campus questions like Bartusa delta x cognizant accenture or tcs ltm entry any then please also refer to these materials and if you want the best thing is if you get the plan lord uh the bundle it will be very much helpful it has total 25 top mnc's questions so please go through those it will be very much helpful so let me just share the solution guys so now let me discuss the solution in java okay guys i was talking about the cutoff right guys so i have heard that they have made mandatory uh, like one coding should be mandatory right so please try to solve at least one coding to get shortlisted for the interview round if you perform very well in interview then you can be selected for 7.5 lp even after solving one questions okay so please be aware of that at least try to solve one coding questions and give very good interview it will be very impactful in the, like interviewers mind and they will select for the 7.5 lpm so guys if you want to get all the interview materials and all the coding questions all the things please visit topmate.io.com the link is given in the description box or in the comment section please go to that it will be very much helpful thousand of students have already passed uh, with our materials after following our materials and you can be the next so please don't ignore don't play gamble with your career so please have this because this cost a very affordable price so please have that and grab the opportunity okay okay so let me discuss the solution in java at first we have taken the input from the user so that's why we have initialized the object of scanner plus and then we have taken the input of the string and then we have initialized and we have implemented the map interface using the hash map class here we have initialized the character and integer to map the count of each character okay now frequency is the map for chc is to s.2 character array at first we have taken the uh, we have taken the user input like the string right so we have to at first change that string to character array let's say a b c d e f is the string we are making this a uh, character array and c d e f this way and then we are holding the data of a in c at first and then we are putting the value okay putting the value and their counts okay just counting if a is present once or not if it's if it present 
here if it present and then we are just increasing the count if it is not present we are skipping that this is the same thing we have done in python we are doing the same here as well okay i hope you understood as uh, let me just uh, run it for you um if you have not understood then please let me know in the comment section because i already have discussed it in python so that's why i did not discuss that much a b c d e f so six would be output and for this next sample input uh let's say a b c a a b b c c d d d for this output should be zero okay and as expected so i hope you understood guys again i'm requesting you to please go through the playlist of capgemini this will be very much helpful for you and if you are preparing for any other on campus like cognizant lti mind tree or any other then please visit topmate.io/techno.web and prepare through the latest previous year questions and recent questions and with answers as well please visit that all the answers are provided in multiple language and communication assessment help and interview preparation help from the beginning to the end everything are included so please go through that it will be very much helpful so i hope you will do so so thank you for today's session guys